Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be space entrepreneurs with Helium Rain. This is a game developed by Demos Games. came out on Steam just a few days ago. Uh, it was in early access before that, but it's at full release now. Uh, so the idea, it's an interesting mix of first-person fly-around kind of game and... Uh, like, like numbers accounting kind of a game because the idea is we are uh, trying to build ourselves a space business we are just one ship at the moment but if everything goes right we'll make some money we'll buy more ships and those ships will send on trade routes to make cash buying and selling throughout the uh, the system and eventually make our own space stations so the other factions and corporations in the game will make us money uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try it out and see what it's all about here. I'm going to go ahead and load my game that I'm already in because it takes a little while to get going. Uh, I was I was expecting actually just to pop in here and, you know, like start building ships and stations and showing that off. But it takes a long time to get there, and there's actually a lot more going on here than I thought there was at first. So let me just start where I am at the moment. So there's a ship coming in here to dock right now. I am this ship right here. This this peanut thing right here. This is me. I'm docked at this station right here at uh, the Rhea farm here. This is the station I'm at. They, they have food they're selling. They, have, they, they want oxygen. They want fuel. They want carbon. Um, let me back up a bit. Let's go back to our ship. So let's go just take a look at our ship and, and, and maybe this will ease us into the game here. So here's my, my, my peanut, which has just basically just a couple of engines on it. I have unlocked and purchased a auto docking mechanism, which I've thrown on there. My ship's name is the 0078, which is outrageous. It is the wise caps lock on. The, the Bob Ross. There we go. Done? Does it say it on there somewhere? Uh, rename. There it is. It's the, uh, the, the KSLN for some reason. Bobro. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I, I chose my color scheme and all that. Yeah, my logo. It's, it's beautiful. Um, uh, so wait, so there's my ship. My ship right now has a bit of food on it and a bit of fuel on it. We're going to do some contracts, basically, is what's going on here. And somebody wants to buy some fuel from us. Someone wants to buy some food. I think we have a passenger on board as well. Um, here's all my contracts I have right now. Oh, no passengers. I just dropped them off. So, uh, in Blue Heart, which is a, 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 I guess we'll call it, not a system, but a, a, a region in space here, there's a bit of a story. that we should start with that. Uh, we are on Earth. We flew out far away into uh, the vastness of space. We found this gas giant with all kinds of moons. We thought, hey, let's settle there, but calamity ensued, and now it's just us and a bunch of other companies that are out here, not me company, uh, other companies that are out here in space trying to make a name for themselves. We are one of those as well, including the pirates. And so we'll also we have to deal with that as well, but not yet. Um, so here's our orbital map. Right now we are at the lighthouse. There's the gas giant, there's some moons around here, there's the sun. And we are at a just a, a group of stations, basically, here over at the lighthouse. There's mining places, there's farming places, that kind of a thing. Um, but what we want to do is, let's start off with a mission here. So I have food and, and uh, fuel. So here at the Boneyard, they want the food that I just purchased. So let's go do that. Let's track that mission and go do that. They'll ease us into this. So we are at the station. We don't need to be here anymore. Let's go ahead and undock. And now we are away. So, like any, you know, space sim thing, we can fly around and, and watch out for, don't run into things, and fly around and, and spin around and, and whatever else. We can, we can dock in all these various places. There's other ships flying around, of course. Uh, but we want to go to uh, this station, which is going to be orbital map to the Boneyard. I've never been here before. So, we can go to the Boneyard. I, I don't know nothing in it. I know, I know nothing about this system. There's no, I don't know what stations are there. I don't know anything. But, but we have a mission to go there. So, let's fly there. So, we're going to travel there. Fast travel. It can take us 16 days to buzz over there. We're going to go ahead and fast forward that and zoom over that way. Uh, I'll show you all the um, the numbers and all that stuff as soon as we get into the beginnings of the game here. All right, we are at the Boneyard. We have a new contract available for steel delivery here, a new pendulum contract, whatever that is. Let's go and see about these contracts here. We want to go to the Umbriel Habitat. So in this system, it's right here. This is apparently owned by the Pirates. All right. Uh, I don't know if that's fine with me. I'm just delivering you some food that I picked up from that food planet. So let's go and target this place. And we'll see. This is all pirates, isn't it? This is all owned by the pirates. All right. I'm glad we're neutral with the pirates. So we'll see it on our map. You can see the arrow there is going to guide us where we want to go. So it's over this way. Now we can go, you know, WASD. It's actually pretty easy to fly. Reasonably easy to fly. We can WASD fly ourselves around. I'm assuming there's pirates all flying around out there, but apparently we're fine with them. I won't, uh, I won't, I won't cause any issues. There is an unknown signal detected, and, oh, that's where we're going, actually. Let's go, yeah, let's go see what this is. I haven't seen one of these before. 
I don't know if I can do these or not. What I'm trying to do is, as soon as I get a little more cash, I'm, I'm still in the middle of the tutorial here, but as soon as I get more cash, I'll be able to buy a new ship. So we're going to see if we can do that. Hopefully, eventually. So I'm flying here. I can fly super fast if I want to, but we, we'll run into things. So we're going to try to ease up, you know, not go crazy here. We're going to go dock at this station here. I'll manually dock this one so you can see how that works. And then I'll show you the auto docking because I had to manually dock way too many times and it's very painful. So I'm going to make you sit through it. All right, where is this uh, docking bay? Each of these spots have a docking bay somewhere. You can see I'm 500 meters away. And where is this docking bay? Is it? Oh, it's up there. There it is. It's up there. Okay, so let's let's ease us into it so we can go kind of we can go laterally. Is that lateral? We, we can go side to side. Yeah, that's lateral. And we can go up and down this way. And we're going backwards right now. Let's go. Let's, let's go forwards. We can turn ourselves. So there's lines you can see. Normally that window down there tells me what I want to see. I don't know what the button is to turn that off though. So <laughs> make this game a lot easier, wouldn't it? I need my buttons. Uh, so we'll line those two lines up and just ease ourselves in there. Ease ourselves in there. Big pirate flag on this one. All right, all right. You know what we can also do? We can also just push P and auto dock. Makes it way easier. And we're here. Okay, we are now docked at the place. So what do we do here? We want to trade. We want to sell them the food that we picked up. That's what they want. So here you go. They'll give me some cash. Contract is successful. I can also, I cannot buy things. These are all inputs, so we can only give them food, whatever else. Fuel, we could buy, we could sell them the fuel if we wanted to. I need that fuel, so I don't really want to. What can I get for it? Uh, not a lot. No, we don't want to do that. Okay, so that, that contract is now done. We don't need to be here anymore, but we can take a look and see what else is out here, I guess. Is there any contracts out here in the boneyard? Steel delivery. So sell some steel to somebody else here in, in the boneyard. There's also this one. Uh, dock at the Habitation Center in Blue Heart. You are summoned by the Nema Colonial Administration to a meeting on the Pendulum Project. Please dock at one of the... Oh, yeah, okay. I'll do that. Unknown rewards. Well, I can't pass that one up. Let's do it. Okay, so back to Blue Heart. We gotta go there anyway and sell some fuel. So let's, let's do that. So to Pendulum, we're gonna track that mission and fly here to Blue Heart. And we're gonna go to this one. Which one? to uh, Nima Colonial Administration. It doesn't matter. Let's just fly there. Um, Blue Heart. 16 days. Fast forward. Man, these pirates live a long ways away. Everyone else is like five days away. These guys are forever away. So we're zooming in. You can see us flying away here. Time is ticking as that goes on. If, if Once we get like a station and fleets flying around, the, the fast forwarding, I guess, will make sense. Um, but let's go to... I'm not sure which one we want to go to. I mean, I guess we can go to both of them. We'll figure out which one we want to go to. They're both blue, so I'm not entirely sure which one we want to go to. But, you know, let's just go to this one. And... Dock. So it'll auto-fly for us. Be careful. Uh, actually, this might be one of those times we need to be careful. Because last time I tried this, I ran into the station. The docking isn't the best. You have to still be kind of lined up. Let me, uh, let me, let me do that, actually. Because we're going to run into the station. <laughs> let's go over here. Uh, there's, there, there's where we want to go. Okay. Let's fly around here. Now we can push P and auto dock this thing. Okay. I'm, I'm really eager to get a new ship because I want to see, uh, I want to see shooty things because there's pirates out there. Well, we saw the pirates. But there's like, I think there's bounties in the game as well. We can, we can deal with that. But he's going to slowly ease us into there. There's another unknown signal. We should go check that out. I'm curious as to what that is. There's a thing called artifacts. I'll show the rest of the menus here in just a minute. If I remember. Uh, do we want to trade anything? Is this the one you want? Uh, to Thelzino. Thelzino is... That's it. Thelzino. You want 33 fuel. I will sell you this. And this one is... Thanks for attending the meeting. As you may observe, you may observe the Spire, our only source of gas, can't match the needs anymore. We need to build a new orbital extractor. However, the Spire was built before the war, and we acknowledge that, uh, we, the knowledge disappeared when the Daedalus carrier was shot to pieces. So the Daedalus was the... The colony ship that flew here, um, people, bad things happened, people started flying back, it got destroyed, and then we're just kind of left here alone now. Your help is needed to build a new one. Please start reverse engineering the Spire so we can learn more. So go visit the Spire. Gotcha. I will do that. Okay, but first I gotta go sell some fuel. So let's go here and trade. I mean, they want like 30-something? They don't want all this, they just need 30-something. So I'm gonna sell them 33, I think is what it was. 
There you go. Contract successful. We've now done that one. Excellent. You want more fuel? I need 21 more, which I don't have over at Thebe Arsenal. Which I don't have that much fuel, though. I could sell them, I guess, a little bit of the stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Let's jump over to Thebe Arsenal. Let's go ahead and undock here. Where is Thebe? Thebe. Uh, I want... You can see if I'm... I'm using my mouse wheel at the top. And you can see me bounce around all the different stations and things that are out here. Thebe Arsenal is apparently right over there. So it's like a giant station. And within the station, there's all these little pillar things. And uh, that's what... They're all just, I guess, little airport terminals, basically, that's attached to this giant Death Star thing. At least in this system. Other systems, they are various platforms just sort of out in space, floating around. There's another ship coming in. I want a ship like that. Look at the size of that guy. All right, uh, I will trade with you. Oh, we can upgrade my ship here. Uh, I'm going to sell you all the fuel I can. So you can have most of it. You can order ships at the shipyards. Dock your ship at Blue Heart Shipyard. Oh, I want to do that. Okay, I made the cash. Let's go do that. Um, um, which one do I want to do first? Where are we? Where are we anywhere near Blue Heart? We're in Blue Heart. Okay, yeah, let's let's uh let's go do that one. So this is a shipbuilding tutorial. Let's jump there at the Blue Heart Shipyard. Dock at Tarvos Shipyard, which is this one right here. Let's go dock over there. We can just auto do it. I spent the first I don't know, I've been playing I said 30, 45 minutes of this game flying around manually. I just now got this new module on my ship. Actually, let me show you all the other things in the game. So we have economy. We can keep an eye on all the different stuff, the things that are selling and buying and how they feel for feel towards us, fuel, electronics, and all that. Uh, my company was was is here. Um, we saw myself. I can add trade routes as soon as I get more ships. I have one ship, the Bob Ross, my uh, my tiny little uh, pod thing. There's my appearance, uh, my attraction log, how much money I've been making recently, and, of course, numbers. We like numbers. Now, fleets. Uh, once I get more fleets, I can start adding trade routes in with my various ships that I'll be picking up. I guess I'll maybe do with this with this guy once I get a new one. And then we saw diplomacy as well down here. We can declare war on folks. There's the pirates who are level 4 now, weren't they? Three a minute ago? Pay them tribute if we want them to be happy with us. Everyone right now is neutral and happy, I think. Yeah, everyone loves us. And then there's technology, which we have unlocked auto-docking, which is right here. Once I get... Oh, I have 28 research. I can buy something else. Uh, what does it... What do I get if I buy... Logistics, early warning. What is all this stuff? Um, which one do I want? Enables the building of outposts, habitations, and solar-powered plants. Well, research stations, planetary research telescope. Be notified of incoming military fleets attacking your current sector. Uh, let's go get logistics. Build some outposts. Here we go. We got it. I have now researched that technology. Okay, cool. So let's open the shipyard details. Um, wheel menu or through your sector menu, you will have the detail... Pick a production line for small ships and order a freighter of your choice. All right. Gain, where was that? Buy ship. Okay. Now, you will have the details of the production lines. Pick a production line for the small for uh, small ships and order a freighter. So order a light ship. I would like, which these are, there's an Omen freighter. Known as the Brick. A robust, fast, effective ship. It is the backbone of trading companies. The ghoul, however, has weapons. I want that one. But I'll buy this one. Okay, I will buy that. Okay. Maybe long, maybe require additional resources to start if they are not already in stock at the shipyard. Make sure production has started and continue playing until your ship is ready. Alright, how's it how's it going? Whoops. So how's my how's my ship going? So in for twenty days it'll be ready to go. It doesn't need anything. It's not in construction. Waiting for sixteen fuel. Um I have fuel, don't I? No, I just sold it all. Okay, so you need 16 fuel before you can start my ship. Why don't you get it yourself? Um, I'm assuming they will. They might be able to because ships come and go, selling and buying. So let's go see if we can find a station to buy some fuel from. I don't know if there is anything from in this. I don't think there is anything in here. Can I go look at the economy and look for fuel and look for a place that's producing? Like Boneyard has some. The Lighthouse has some. So let's go to the Lighthouse and go to uh, this guy right here power plant. Let's go there. So we're going to travel over here, grab some fuel, head back to him. Okay, now, uh, back over here, we're going to pick up some fuel from here. So let's go dock over this way and grab us a bit of fuel. And then we'll we'll run back to get my ship made, because I want, I want a new ship. 
This is like a... Oh, okay, I see. This is something different. I will, uh, I'll manually dock this one this time. Well, I'll, I'll show the numbers a little better anyways. Maybe not manually, but I'll show it. And it's, I guess if, if our uh, device were to break, it'd be something we would need to deal with. So, slow down, slow down. Okay, so right here, let's go uh, down a little bit and line this thing up. You can see my, uh, my meters up there. I'm going two meters per second right now. Let's line this thing up like this way. Slow it down to a uh, stop. Okay. Inch our way over. Let's go down a little bit. And you can see they'll light up blue whenever we're, we're just right, which we are just right right now. So we can ease ourselves on in here into the docking bay. And there we go. We're docked. Okay, we're now here. So we went to buy some fuel from them. I'm going to buy as much fuel as I can get. I can get 100 fuel. I will take it all of it. Okay, now let's go back to where we were, which was Blue Heart, right? To wherever our ship is. Yeah, let's go there. Okay, and fast forward. Okay, he's at Tarvos right here. So let's go jump here real quick. I'm just going to dock over there. And dump off, dump off 16 of that fuel so they can get to work on that ship. And then we'll fly somewhere. We'll get it done in 20 days. No, no, 20 days is, is just a click. So we'll be there in just a second. We'll... All right, we're now here. I want to... So I can buy my ship. You need 16 more fuel. I will give it to you. Um, I will go to here. If I just give you 16 fuel, right? Then you'll be happy. Um, sure, 20. There you go. So now you're good. Correct? Construction starting soon. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Um, do I have any more cash? Can I buy another one of these? Can I buy another ship? No, because it's already it's already busy. All right. Well, let's uh, let's just undock real quick. Um, and click on the screen here. Let's go take a look at this unknown signal, which whatever it is. See if it pops up on my screen here. I haven't seen it up there. Unknown thing. It's not... Hmm. Okay. I'm scanning it. Do we know where it is? Okay. It is in front of us. Was it the station? We had it. We had it. Align ourselves. Okay. Now, scan. Okay, yeah. Let's just... Um, can I just go here? Can we just do this? And just skip a day. Okay. Did it work? It didn't work. All right, we'll see what this does. Almost there. Artifact analysis revealed valuable data for technolo technology research. So, if I come in here to technology, artifacts. You found one out of ten artifacts. The sport board discovered new sectors to unlock more research data. I found the Blue Heart docks. Oh, it tells me all about what the place is. I get it. Okay. Now, does it give me some research? No, it doesn't. But it's just it's just things to find, I guess, out in space. Okay, cool. Well, what we want to do is we're going to go back out. It's going to be a little choppy here. Uh, and we're going to run that red ship. Oh, by the way, I can change the color of my ship. Right now, I'm kind of a boring black and gray, which I think is cool, but uh, some people aren't all about that. Um, let's go with... How do I do that? Um, company, right? Change my ship color here. Uh, appearance. There we go. So we can, like, you know, if we want to be more exciting, we can be something like bright yellow if we wanted to. But no, no, we're good. I like how it is. Okay, so back to uh, what we were doing. We were going to drop off the fuel is what I wanted to do. I have this contract here for delivering some fuel in Blue Heart, which I'm at Blue Heart. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, we just, it's just four more. So let's just jump there real quick before we go to Pendulum and go there. Um there. And let's dock over there quick. Dump off our four fuel, and this will be complete. Is this it right here? Oh, this is it right here. 
Well, that was easy. You couldn't just carry the fuel barrels through the station? Alright, I would like to sell you four pieces of fuel. Uh, oh, yeah, four. There you go. There's some cash. Uh, contract is successful, which gives us... Which, uh, I did those because they gave me... Where is it? Uh, these, they gave me some research points and some reputation. So my company should be a little bit cooler now, right? We got some reputation. Uh, diplomacy. Um, I mean, we're still in 13th place, but, uh, we don't have any combat value either, but we're somewhere. I do have enough money maybe to buy another ship. Maybe. We'll have to look at that. Uh, can I buy a ship from here? No, I can just go and I can upgrade my ship that I have, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, so let's go visit that, that mission that we have. Uh, up here in our contracts, we're going to go to this one. There's all kinds of other things we can do here. Like more fuel delivery if we want to do more. We do have 35. Why don't we just do this one? In Blue Heart. Let's just do this real quick. I'll do that. Another one? The food? I don't have any food. Food hauling, water delivery, VIP. Sam. Sam wants to go to uh, to Lighthouse. But no, I'm gonna just going to do this one real quick. Just to, just to get the research points. It doesn't give me any cash, which is what I really want, but... Um, we're going to stop off there just real quick, like. Just dock over there real quick. And we'll see, uh, so we'll see. Oh, it's, it's actually out here. Okay. And we'll, we'll, um, get a bit more research. We'll see what kind of research we can pick up. And we'll look at what else we have. Because we can now build stations, but we're not at that point yet, so I guess we're not going to worry about that yet. We need to worry about the ships first, I think. I was reading some of the comments, though, and, and some of them were saying that it is surprisingly quick how fast you can get into ships and stations and all that. So we'll see. Mostly, I just want to make a ship that shoots things, which we can also send uh, automatically go out just like do bandit raids and clean up pirates and things. Uh, I would like to sell you, what was it? How much? 35 fuel? All right. I will sell you 35 fuel. There you go. Contract is done. So now we probably have a bit more tech. We got 35 points to spend. We can pick up science, which allows us to make research stations and planetary research telescope. Sure. I'll take it. You research science for your company. All right. Now, we want to go here. So we need to go to, where was it? The Spire. Is it somewhere out lost in space somewhere? There it is, way out here. Okay, it's a new one. So let's jump there. It takes us four days. We gotta wait twenty days to get our ship built anyway. So let's jump there and see what all is here. Got tons of things here. So you want me to sell forty fuel, which I have, right? I do, just barely. Forty fuel to where? For uh, inspect the spire in detail, in detail to gather information about its materials and construction methods. Our agent attached transmitter beacons on the structure to help you locate valuable data. All right. Insect, inspect the pipe at the reference point A in the spire. Well, it's tracked, so it should show up for us. So it should just just uh, follow the arrow here. Is it over there? Okay, so this, this is the spire right here it's talking about. So I guess we're going to do this thing again where we just sit here. And let it, and just let it, yeah, tick up. This gives us the research we want. Inspect the pipe. Okay. I guess this is this is point A. I didn't see anything about a point A, but we're just following our, our unknown signal thing. Okay, so we got we got to do this seven times before we can figure something out. All right. Well, I'll uh, I will do that. All right, just one left here. If I can, probably right about over here. Let's slow it down. And right in there. I notice we get 99%. It goes very fast. So let's just sit there and just look at this thing if we can. And 98. Right about there. Any closer? I can scoot up a little closer. There we go. Stop. And this is our last, our last bit. We're almost there. There we go. Done. That's it. Come back to uh, scientists at Blue Heart. See what they made of it. Okay, I'll do that. Let's go back. So back to Blue Heart. Uh, spend some time. I'm just going to pass a bunch of days, I think, by the time we get there. To make sure we get our ship done, because I want to see my ship. 
Okay, so more contracts are available. We want to go back to uh, here, I think. And let's go see what what uh, what the word is with this uh, thing that I just scanned a whole bunch. I guess there's another artifact thing out here too. Another unknown signal has been detected. Are we gonna hit that? Good. Yeah, let's spin around here. And go stop off this one. I have the graphics maxed out here, so hopefully it's recording okay. It looks like it might be a little choppy on my OBS screen. And there we go. Okay, so uh, Data Bright Mike will help us understand how the Spire was built. Need you to transform this knowledge uh, into usable technology t to build a new space elevator. All right. Um, I don't know what that means, but okay. So d I need to go unlock orbital pumps technology. And science technology. Well, I think I've already done a couple of those, right? I've already got science. No, I don't. Orbital, what was it? Orbital pumps is what I need, which is going to take a lot of science. I've only got two left to spend. So we can't do that right now. Okay. Uh, how much longer until my ship is done? That's what I care about. Uh, you're not the ship builder. Let me go uh, Let me go just pass some time here and see, how, see if we can get this ship built. All right, rolling back to Blue Heart. For some reason, I stopped here, and it says I needed more fuel for this ship, so I went and grabbed some more fuel. So we're back now, and we're going to dock. We're going to get this ship done. I'm just going to fast forward the 20 days and see if that will get us our ship, because I want to see how uh, we can put it to work. I want to fly it around, too. We've docked. Let's go to the buy ship thing. You want... Uh, oh, now it, says, now it says you're in production. A minute ago, it says it needed fuel. Maybe uh, someone came and dropped it off. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here and just going to skip day. Done. Okay, so now we have a combat tutorial, eh? All right. Fleet management. Learn how to use finish to travel. With, yes, fleets. Okay, we can add in the new guy. There it is right there. Can I uh, fly this guy? I can. So now I'm flying this one. Can I... Um, I don't want to focus on anything. So now this guy should have more space on him, right? If we go into the ship, he has... Oh, yeah, he can carry 400 units of, of thing. He is the 0123. Perfect name for a ship. He's also known as the Brick. Now, we can upgrade him, right? Uh, I need to be talking about the supply outpost, which I am not. We can also trade with him if we were if we were stopped at a supply outpost, which we, again, are not. Uh, let me go to... A supply place. There's a shipyard there. Is there any supply ones around here? There's a habitation one. Let's go to the... Um, what can I do here? This one, I can just buy stuff. Shipyard, I can order or upgrade my ships at this station. Let's stop there. Which is where we are, right? No, we're going to run into this station. Easy that. Don't run into it. Don't scratch my new ship up. Fly around this way stop off here. We won't have time to do all this today in this episode, so if you want to see more of this, let me know, and we'll we'll maybe explore some more of the fleet mechanics and the, uh, the actual trading and, and business running mechanics next time. And combat! But we're going to stop off here and see what I can do what I can do to this ship. I can do some upgrades. Maybe find something cool with it. And... Okay, now, if I want to upgrade you, what can I do? It's the same things, right? Just different, uh, yeah, I can give you a different engine if I wish. That's armor, that's engines, yeah. Okay, no big deal. But, uh, okay, I'm going to put a cut in here and call it a day. Thanks again for watching. And there's my two ships that I own. No stations yet, but we're getting there, we're getting there. If you start the game off, I'm in tutorial mode, you can start the game off not in tutorial mode, and it just throws you out there in space with uh, your ability to do whatever you want to do. Um, but... Uh, what did that say? Yeah. So I can make... So that's, that's what I'm flying. I, I can give you a trade route, right? I can. Okay. Oh, well, that's that, that kind of trading. Okay. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll read up on this and do some learning. I'll see you next time.